Hey everybody, we are going to go to the allotment again this morning. I think it's supposed to be hot, but not as hot as last week. Thank God. Right now it's like maybe 15 or 16 degrees out with a light breeze. It's so beautiful. I'm keeping my sunglasses on because look how tired I am. We have airplanes flying over us all day and all night time because they're working on the runway. Which means all the planes have been diverted over my house. And so like 1 o'clock in the morning the planes are going by. And then they start up again at 5 a.m. So I get about 4 hours of sleep. And uh, we have some personal stuff going on in the background right now that are kind of coming to a head on Monday. By the time you watch this it will already have happened so maybe I can give you an update on the next one. We'll see. We never unpacked the car from last week which makes going so much easier, so much less packing. But I think we'll just, I'm, I don't know if I want to plant the garlic. I'd like to get the garlic in and then um, keep working on the walkways so that way we can not be gardening in a grass field. I'm really like concerned about how large the pathways are and how small the growing space is like we've obviously like really misused the space so I need to try and figure out how to make the mounds bigger for gardening in and make the pathway smaller like where am I going to get that soil to do that versus now that everything has been dug out I don't know where to get that extra soil to make those mounds bigger so I have to figure that out here comes another plane So yes, we need to make the mounds bigger. And then I'm also, I need to make spaces for um, the compost bin that I'm bringing. And I'm gonna bring a rain barrel. And I didn't really plan spaces. I have one spot for the compost bin, but I didn't really make space for the rain barrel. So I feel like I spent all this time building the mounds and the seating area and the trenches and then I am now in a place where I feel like I might have to start it all over again. So I have to figure that out. And then we still have to put up the fence. I want to get the fence done before winter. And then I'm, I'll bring the compost bin to the allotment, but I'm not going to bring any of the furniture because I don't want anyone stealing it over the winter time. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to do with it in the fall of next year but I want to see what everybody else does at the allotment like if they bring their furniture home at the end of the season or if they leave it all winter I'm curious to know how that goes because uh, I don't think chicken wire is going to stop someone from breaking into my allotment I kind of want to put up a chain link fence but they're so expensive to buy and I got cushions for those two chairs that I redid if you haven't seen that video I'll link it they were $20 each and they were regularly like 68 bucks a chair because it's the bottom and the side. So I bought, got two of them for $45. And since I own the cans of paint at home, the chairs were free. I updated them for free. So the whole two set of chairs with nice cushions are going to be 45 bucks. So I feel like that's the perfect amount of money to spend on an allotment patio set but patio set is going to be nicer than anything anyone has with these like metal chairs and nice cushions and a nice glass table <laughs> all for free but it's gonna look so fancy all right I'm going to slowly get myself ready to go and then I will pick you guys back up once we get to the allotment and I'm hoping I have enough energy to work but um the bags under my eyes say it's gonna be a very slow work day so it's a slow talking day we can only imagine my working energy when I get there so all right see you guys shortly all right we just made it to the allotment and Colin is already hard at work I just finished watering everything and uh, again it just looks terrible with all the weeds so we're focusing on that my corn is starting to tassel and I think I can see like about one um, head per these things per stalk and then my tomatoes are ripening and my broad beans are getting big and even my 
cauliflower and broccoli are quite large, but they're just really hard to see through the weeds, which is atrocious. But that's the other side we worked on last week. So we are just going to keep on working away. We're doing this aisle next because these ones are at least narrow, so they're a little bit less work. So here we go. I feel like I definitely ruined one of these pairs of gloves by leaving them outside all the time. So it was like um, the sun kind of killed them. Oh, that's annoying. Nice, you know. Oh my god. What happened? Let's see in a sec. <laughs> oh, what I think is this that? is a turnout. Sweet, that's amazing. What's the leaf on, on the turnip look like? Kind of like a radish. This is like wild where, yeah, you know, like we haven't watered any of it or yeah. anything. Yeah. And we found a radish and I think this is a turnip. It looks like it. This is so funny. I guess those are coming home with us. Yeah. Makes me excited about the things that we can throw here. Yeah. I don't know. It's so fun. At least we can eradicate all this mint. Or we let the mint grow in between so that it is our weed control. The mint? Yeah. That's so weird. What was that? I don't know. Some of the cop or somewhere, but it's a Saturday, so it's not like it's a school. Okay. Is it's almost like as long as you pay, then you can have it. Yeah, but they could. They could but they should be like, you have to start working on it within like X number of weeks. Yeah. Of getting access to it. I guess if I take it, you are injured for one year. Mm -hmm. someone else. Temporarily. Yeah. Like, like you, the person who owns it. It's just hard to fight the weeds when you're surrounded by them. Yeah. And like all of these plots that are not maintained, all of these flowers and weeds and, and plants are all going into seed. Yeah, and they're coming right And us. they're coming right in here. Maybe I don't want to go camping in the summers anymore either because it kind of feels like we're camping when we're here. Yeah. In the middle of a field. It's looking a lot better that bed. This one? Yeah. I know, you can actually tell the plants in there. Yeah. When we came here last weekend, there was like 
nobody here and I think it was just too hot. People were smart enough to know not to come. But there's a lot of people here today. Oops. The Holy Boy So. Oops. Should I go do a load? Huh? Should I go do a load of uh, thingamabobs? I guess it's up to you and your interests and motivation. Yeah, it's true. Depends what you're more interested in doing. I don't want to scrape at the moment, so I'm going to go get a load. Okay. I'm going to go to that pile over there. You're going to try that one? Is that a good idea or a bad idea? I mean, you'll only know if you do it. Is it a shared pile, you think? I would assume so. Okay. I mean, you could walk over there, and if you feel uncomfortable, you just turn around. Yeah. How'd it go? Good. Better? Yeah. Same? Uh, better. Shorter, I feel. I feel like it's shorter. And nobody called you out? No, there's nobody there. <laughs> it's good because then you can go with a pile of leaves okay. and then go get a pile of mulch. I'll keep bringing you spread eventually whenever you need to switch between weeding. Where's the, can you pass me the, the rake? Very, I don't know if it's like the giant cup of coffee. Yeah. I'm like so like shaky. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I know, this is just so much work. Question is, should you switch over to mulch? Uh, do I need to, I want this all cleaned up. The issue is. That we have to keep packing up the wheelbarrow yeah. every day. And the mulch is a two person job. It's not a two person job, it just goes faster with two people. Yeah. But the problem is, is you can't mulch over here until I'm done what I'm doing. Yeah. So, I would say, as much as you want to say mulch is a two-person job, weeding is a two-person job in my opinion, so. Yeah, you can Well, there's no point in putting mulch. overpower them. No! So it's like, I like to crouch and pick weeds because it's the closest thing to a break in the now. So, the government of Ontario has changed their um, threshold on anemia or iron deficiency. And before I was like right on the line of anemic, but now with the change of the rules, I'm like very, very much in the anemic category of low iron. And I'd already been like fairly low iron before and then I donated blood and I didn't realize that donating blood was gonna cause my iron levels to drop so bad. So I now get tired like really easily on top of having hypothyroidism where I'm already tired to begin with. And so I, I haven't been getting much sleep and I'm hypothyroid and now I'm anemic and so this is hard for me. Okay, it's been about two hours that we've been here and I didn't videotape much of it because we're just silently working. We're just trying to get stuff done because we're both feeling a little discouraged by the amount of weeds that we have. And so we did a ton of weeding and added some more wood chips to the pathways. So I'll just show you guys. So we weeded here and those wood chips are already breaking down. So we need to add more here. And Colin scraped and wood chipped this one. And then I scraped and we wood chipped this one here. And then we added, we pulled out weeds from this one and added more on this one here. Just to, uh, because the weeds were coming through. So I'll give you a nice wide view. And so it doesn't look too bad on this side here, but you can really see what happens when it's unmaintained. And uh, this is a perfect example over here. When we're not working on them, this is what they look like. And they look so bad, it's so hard to, to feel encouraged, like we're beating 
the weeds here and then the pathways still look good here but like these are my gardens like there's there's really only like 12 plants in there that are supposed to be in there and the rest is all weeds like this is a really great example here like these are so bad here's my actual plant right there and then there's one right there but they're competing with just so many weeds and it's like there's only so much time we have when we come here so definitely a mental experience trying to overcome how we feel about what's going on here but we're hoping that when next week next year comes if we've mulched really heavily at both the pathways and the beds that the weeds will be easier to pick and we can stay on top of them but I mean here like that's so bad so bad so this is I think why we're really quiet it's a mix of um, feeling discouraged and just trying to get stuff done for the couple hours that we're here at a time but I think we've put in this will be the 12th video and we come for a minimum of two hours so 25 to 30 hours we put into this and it still looks this way which is pretty wild and that is times two people so 50 hours if it was me by myself that's a lot of time so but my cauliflower broccoli and cabbages are looking pretty good this is funny because this is under uh, insect netting and they're the most eaten so but like these are looking really good and then these ones are looking really really nice so these ones I planted first and then those ones I planted later which is why there's such a size difference but I'm really happy I'm hoping they can grow in time and then here's my corn and it's starting to tassel it's only like three feet tall but it's definitely making space for food so as long as animals don't beat me to it then I might be able to get maybe one corn per plant we'll see this one's actually got more than two here so that's kind of neat we'll see what happens this was all just a fun experiment anyways it wasn't meant to be anything too much oh no I gotta cover them up or the cabbage moth will get them so anyway we are harvest some stuff we got a couple tomatoes and the turnip and a couple of radishes and then we are gonna go so thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye